Welcome back. So in this short lecture, I'm just going to demonstrate and show you how easy it is to add animations to your Android. So in order to add any animation, there are basically four steps, okay? And very easy steps that anyone can follow. And I'm going to demonstrate that so it's exactly, you know, exactly what to do and where to go and how to do it. So first, what you need to do is you need to work with a library called Lottie. Okay, so this is called Lottie Library. And in order to use this library, you'd have to first, uh, let me walk you step by step. So you have your activity layout, okay, and this could be a main screen. So I'm not going to show creating a new project. I already have it. So what you really need to be concerned of is this particular element on your Android activity screen could be any activity screen. So this code from com.airbnb.lottie all the way down to autoplay true. That's it. That's all you need to embed within your activity. So once you have this code, notice there's a JSON file. And this JSON file is something that you can pull from online, from various websites, and I'm gonna demonstrate that as well so you can easily go and find the animation that you're looking for. If you need to create your own JSON file, then of course you can use After Effects, Adobe After Effects, and then create the animation of your choice, and then save the JSON file, and then of course use it here. So once you have this, the next thing you need is of course the Assets folder. So if you do not have the Assets folder under Main folder within your app, just right-click Main, create a folder, pretty straightforward, and then copy or bring all of the JSON files that you have for your animations within the assets folder. So that's step number two, okay? And then where do I get all of this code, right? Where do I get all these JSON files? So let's go to step three. So I'm gonna to navigate to, let's see, online. So the first site you need to go to is airbnb.io, and that's where you would end up, okay? So this is the URL that you need to bookmark, okay? Pretty neat because this allows you to add animation not only to your Android, but if you're using iOS or other uh, web interfaces, you could do so, okay? So for iOS, for React Native, for web, After Effects, and so on. So here, I'm gonna click on Android and then getting started. And then this is the dependency that you need to add. So you just copy the dependency here. Now, word of caution, so I'm gonna copy this here. And then if I navigate back to my Android, and navigate to my app dependencies, scroll down. Well, that's my module dependency. So let's go ahead and find the app dependency right here. There we go. So I've added the implementation with the single code con.airbnb android dot or colon lottie 2.5.5. So notice on the site, on the website, it's string lottie version. So you may get some failure once you build your Gradle, okay? So that works, that's fine. Otherwise, just use 2.5.5, which is the version of Lottie that I'm using for myself. So all you need to do is just go to app level Gradle, okay? Dependency, not your module, but your app level, right under app. Source, main, and then of course you'll find the build.gradle file. This is your app Gradle. So just add the dependencies, and then once you have it, just sync it, and you should be good to go. So that's step number three, right? So once again, quickly, all you have to do is just navigate to your any one of these activities. So for example, I'm in my splash activity. This is the loading screen, and I've added this particular code, okay? This is your XML, that's all. So you can copy this from the website as well. So for instance, if I navigate to the site, I could uh, open up or go to GitHub and then find the Lottie GitHub page. And then of course I can uh, copy the code, but it's pretty easy. You can just write it down. Okay. It's good practice if you do it yourself. So it's easier that way. So all that is just give an ID animation. And this is important if you need to use it in your code, for example, in one of your Kotlin files or Java files, whichever programming classes you're creating, you could call this uh, ID programmatically as well, so not just XML. But for right now, the easiest way is what I'm demonstrating. So it's easy. 
take a look at. So here, just give an ID, just a width, layout, and then of course the file name. Now, the fourth step, of course, was where does this file name come from? Where does this JSON file? Well, JSON file come from this site called Lottie Files. So you just go to lottiefiles.com and you'll see a bunch of animations, okay? And they're all free. So you could download them. For instance, if I need to download the fingerprint, right, or the message or this loading dots, I could do so. So just click on download animation and it's gonna bring up your Windows Explorer. Then you can download it, click on save, and it's gonna download the JSON file for you. Once the file is downloaded, all you have to do is just navigate to that particular folder, do a control C, go back here under assets, do a control paste or B. That's all. Fairly straightforward. Once you have it, just make sure you name the JSON file or rename the JSON file to the correct name that you have within your assets folder. So that's all you have to do. And notice if I go back to the web, there are several files you can download and these are all After Effects animations that you can take a look at. Once again, if you need to create your own, of course, you're welcome to do so. Go to Adobe, open up After Effects, create the short animations, do a loop, right? Save it as a JSON file and you're good to go. So here's a full collection you can search on this particular collection if you need to, or just pick and choose and click on next. At the bottom here, load more. It's gonna show you other animations as well. So it's pretty fascinating, pretty interesting, and very easy to use as an Android developer. Instead of creating animations from scratch, this is the perfect library that you use. All right, let's go back to our Android. So once I have the drone animation here, for instance, and then I've copied the drone animation.json file. If I play, let me run the app here. If I can run this in the emulator, just give it a moment. Perfect. So the device is starting, so we're just gonna give it a few seconds. Perfect. There we go. So wonderful. So you see the animation here on the splash screen? Perfect. That's the drone animation that you see in the JSON file. So if you need to change, let's say the animation, for instance, let's say how about this uh, light? JSON. So all you have to do is just change the name here to like, and then of course it has to be like .json. So as soon as you change the name, you just need to simply run the process again. Or if you need to change, let's say, a different JSON file. How about this process complete? I like this, okay? So I'm going to use process underscore complete, and then run the file again. So if you run the app, it's going to bring up the emulator again. And then this time, after it goes through the build process, it's going to change the animation. So likewise, you could actually animate pretty much anything, right? Or any activity screen on your Android. And there we go. It's going to come up. And this time it's going to show us the process complete.json animation. And this is what it looks like. Perfect. So give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. And if you have any further questions, post them in the discussion area. I'll be glad to answer. One last thing before I go quickly, you could also add a color filter, by the way. I've just commented out, notice right here. You could use the color filter, which means it's gonna change the color of the animation. So I hope you like it. If you have any questions, let me know. And with this, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.